They stood at opposite ends of the room. The silence between them grew dense by the moment. They weren't quiet because they had nothing to say, but because they had so much to say that it was almost impossible to begin. Both of them were finding the floor carpet to be the most interesting thing in the room as they kept staring at it with undivided attention. Finally, he lifted his gaze to look at her, there she stood his angle, the light of his life. The only thing he felt certain about in this world of doubts and ambiguity, and now it's all going to change. This was their last meeting. It was the end for one and a new beginning for the other. She was to marry someone else tomorrow. The blind forces of reality had deemed them unworthy of being together, their lifelong separation was both unavoidable and imminent. He took a deep breath and began my love he said, struggling to prevent his voice from breaking down. These mere two words broke her resolve not to get emotional. She had thought about this moment for days. She had promised herself that she would remain strong. They had to do it, there was no other way. It took her hours to get her composure back and now all of it was swept away by the first sound of his voice. My love when you asked me do I feel it would have been better had I never met you? Yes I did feel that way. And when I came here today, I thought all I will talk about will be tomorrow. How wrong it is, how hard it is, the injustice of society, and the cruelty of the future. But all the cold bitterness I held in my heart melted away as soon as I looked at you. Instead of talking about what I will lose tomorrow, I will talk about what I have today. I have everything and more than I could ever have asked for even in my wildest of dreams, I have you. My words will never do justice to the feelings of gratitude that fill my heart because you have been a part of it, my little dove just by being yourself. You have given me so much over the years that, no matter how hard I try I will never be able to return even a small part of it. Whenever I got hit, whenever I stumbled, whenever I fell, you were always there to pick me up. Even when you were angry with me, even when we were not talking, you were there. I don't know what you saw in me, I certainly didn't deserve it, but you were always there. I was a different person before we met. You have made me a better man. You have taught me how to take care of things and why we must do it, but most importantly you have shown me how to love. You have made my heart bigger and richer and I love you with every last inch of it. I haven't told you that enough over the years, have I? Let me tell you now then without hope or agenda but simply because you deserve to know. You are the most wonderful person I have ever had the privilege of meeting, your presence in my life has been nothing short of the grace of God and I will cherish your memories every single day for the rest of my life. I believe we will not meet again, and tomorrow you will be someone else's, but won't you say you are mine right now? Life has condemned me to live through it without hearing those words from you ever again, but won't you say it even now? Without even thinking what it means, without worrying what it implies, won't you say it? I am yours, she said with a trembling voice. Removing all the distance between them, he wrapped his hands around her waist and pulled her close. He had never held her with such intensity before. She trembled, then closing her eyes she forgot everything, completely surrendering herself in his arms. She could already feel the taste of the kiss he was about to implant on her lips but it never came. He just stood there holding her in his arms. He kept staring at her as if he had never seen her before. Her brown hair was cascading freely on her face, making a charming contrast against her skin, and her pink lips were half open in invitation. She looked so beautiful as if she was emitting moonlight, the whole room became radiant with her glow. He stood there bewildered by her beauty, unable to move, unable to breathe. The thought that this is the way he would like to remember her for the rest of his life flashed in his mind. He kept looking at her without blinking as if to secure an everlasting image of her in his mind, and once that picture was complete he left without a word.